Today I am going to teach you about one of the very important concepts of uh, agricultural metrology that is called winds. What are winds? What are the types of winds? How they will influence the weather phenomenon and how they will play a major role in agricultural activities and agricultural operations. Okay, uh, let's not waste the time and directly enter into the subject. First one is what are winds? Winds are those, okay, whenever the air is flow horizontal to the ground surface that is called as wind. Whenever the same air will flow vertically that is called as air current. And these winds will be developed. Let me tell you why these winds will be developed. Okay. Why this pressure gradient will develop. As and when the temperature will fluctuate, the pressure gradient will be developed. Okay. This pressure gradient will directly influence the wind speed. And this pressure gradient is completely dependent on temperature. Remember my dear friends, I will explain this concept again whenever uh, the land breezes and uh, sea breezes will come. As and when the temperature will vary, the pressure will be varies and the pressure gradients will be created. These pressure gradients are directly proportional to the wind speed or development of the winds. Okay, but the other concept is the temperature and pressure are inversely proportional. Okay. Next, if you extend towards the subject, you just see, if you understood this diagram, you have understood the entire wind concept. Okay. This diagram, it is represented that this is the earth, this is the equator, which is low pressure belt. Okay. Next, the 30 degree north and the 30 degree south, these are called horse latitudes, these are high pressure gradients. And these are called poles. These are also high pressure gradients. Why? Because there will be a temperature of minus. Okay. That's why the pressure will be more. And we will see what are the types of winds in this concept. Okay. As you can see here, mainly there are two kinds of winds. One is trade winds. Another one is anti-trade winds. Okay. Uh, with respect to the poles, they are called as polar spherlies. And some of the local winds are there. They are called as land breezes and sea breezes. We will, exp we will see how the winds will be flow from one direction to another. Okay. See here my dear friends. First one is trade winds. Trade winds are those which will always flow from high pressure belts in the 30 degree north and 30 degree south towards the equator. That is in the northern hemisphere they will flow, flow from north to west. In the southern hemisphere they will flow from south to west okay why they will flow because due to coriolis force okay you need to remember this word that is called as coriolis force that will makes the winds to flow in the direction towards equator in case of trade winds if it comes to anti-trade winds okay these are opposite to trade winds which means these anti-trade winds will flow from higher pressure gradient in the horse latitude towards the lower pressure gradient towards the pole. Okay. How they will flow? In the northern hemisphere, they will flow from south to east. South to eastern direction. However, in case of southern hemisphere, they will flow from north to east. This is the typical remembering question. Why? Because this question, these uh, statements will be directly appear in your analytical, analytical type of questions. Okay, there they will give some four options such as statement one, northern hemisphere, in the northern hemisphere, trade winds will trade, move from north to west direction. In southern hemisphere, they will move from south to west direction. And the statement three is, the north, in the northern hemisphere, the trade, wind, trade winds will move from south to west and south to east. Likewise, they will give multiple statements. At that time, if you remember this diagram properly, no need to mug up all these things. If you just remember this one, you can easily attend that question well. Okay. Next to that, if you see my dear friends, the another type of wind is polar esterlies. Okay. What are polar esterlies? Why, because, why they will become polar esterlies? Because the wind is generating from polar region and moving towards the lower pressure belts in the, these harsh latitudes. Okay, that's why they are called as, okay, they are called as polar esterlies. Okay, next to that is 
local winds as i said already these two words are repeatedly come in any of the examination that is land breeze and sea breeze so many students will try to mug up the direction which they will flow and they will try to remember when they will happen that you should not do my dear friends first one is land breeze okay what is land breeze land breeze is that the wind will move from land to sea simple okay when the when it will takes place it will takes place in breeze this land breeze will takes place in the night hours as the low pressure belt will be developed on the sea level and the high pressure belt will be developed in the earth surface at that time the air will be flow from land to sea with respect to sea breeze they will takes place in the day time as the water will get heated up very slow than the earth surface the low pressure belt will be developed on the lands that's why the air will be moved from sea to land that is called as sea breeze the next concept is wind direction and wind velocity these two concepts are very important in the point of agricultural operations why because see if the wind direction we don't know means if i am going for a spraying operation if we start spraying in the direction of wind what will happen the entire spray solution will start falling on us at the same time if we don't know the wind velocity if you go for spraying operation or if we go for sprinkler irrigation what will happen the the spraying will not be uniform and even the application of water will also be not uniform hence this wind velocity and wind direction are very very important concepts with respect to wind direction the wind direction will be measured using wind wave that is the implement which will uh, shows from which direction the wind is moving okay there are two technical words called windward direction and leeward direction windward direction means from which direction air or wind is flowing and to which direction the wind is showing flowing that's called as leeward direction simple okay next one is this uh, wind wave will winds will uh, based on the direction of the winds there are two types of winds one is veering winds and the other one is backing winds okay veering winds are those winds they will move in clockwise direction okay the backing winds are those which will flow in anti clockwise direction next to that is wind velocity the wind velocity can be measured using the robinson cup anemometer usually in the observatories okay we will use the dyne's pressure tube thermometer why this wind velocity is important as i already said this wind velocity and wind direction will also decides the movement of clouds and the rate of rain hence it's very important to study these two topics next one is hawkins bioclimatic law what it will say is the growth of the plant will be delayed by 4 days whenever the latitude is changed by 1 degree 1 degree longitude is changed by 5 degree and the altitude is changed by 12 kilometers okay then the winds will start northward and downward movement that will delay the growth of the plant or the biological phenomena by 4 days this is about the winds and uh, different types of winds hope you have understood the topic if you have any questions regarding this topic please comment in the comment section i will try to provide the solution thank you